What's good everybody, welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a castle. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a castle in two point perspective. What does that mean? So we're basically drawing this three dimensional object which we're going to start off drawing first. We're going to draw that on like a two dimensional plane. But that may not make sense to you now but watch the rest of the video so you can get a better understanding of what it is. I'm not really going to discuss two point perspective throughout the video, but a portion of the video is just going to be me explaining how to go about it. When we're drawing in perspective, we're going to need a horizon line, a line that goes straight across the page like this. So we're going to do that. And since we're drawing a two point perspective, our two vanishing points are going to lie on somewhere on this line. So I'm going to place one over here and one over here. Now we're going to draw a vertical line, a line that goes down just like so, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to start off drawing the basic shapes of the castle. I'm going to pick a stopping point on this line here. Let's have it stop right here and then the same like right up here. But there's gonna be like a few different parts to the castle. Just keep that in mind when you're doing it here. But like the supports like the bottom of the castle will be like down here. So that part we're sure is gonna stay there when we're drawing the castle. So we can just keep going from there. So we're gonna connect one vanishing point to this point and then this part's gonna connect to the other vanishing point. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another vertical line but it's not it's gonna be like a stopping point right here because the castle is not gonna go all the way towards this vanishing point we're not gonna have it doing that and same thing over here so we're gonna pick a stopping point and draw a vertical line and now you can decide to make the castle a little bit bigger if you like you can decide to make it smaller but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this um, support down here I'm going to make that come a little bit down. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier with our two vanishing points. And then the vertical lines are already drawn here, so we won't need to draw those in again. But since we made it a little bit bigger, we might have to draw it again. But just a little bit inwards. Like, uh, let's go about here. Okay, and then now we can get started with drawing the border or something, whatever that's called, the border of the castle. We can start drawing that in. So again, you can pick a stopping point, which is like right around here. That's where I'm going to pick my stopping point, this little X here. And then just connect that to both vanishing points. So now we got this vertical line that's going to stay, this one as well, this one, and these two as well. But these two are about to be covered up by like a tower. We're going to add a turret to the corner of the castle. So there's going to be a turret here, a turret here, and a turret here. And then the last one we're not going to be shown because it's going to be behind everything. So we're not going to see this last one, we're just going to be seeing the three. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start by making like an ellipse, I'm trying to make it as straight as possible on each of those vertical lines. And now I'm going to take my smaller ruler and just match the vertical lines like so. And then for the turrets, now that they're above the horizon line, we're not going to draw this same ellipse that we did down here. We're going to we're going to kind of reflect it so it's going to be looking something like that and the reason I say reflected is because it's like it's on a horizon line just try to pretend that's a mirror with this shape kind of being reflected so it looks different above the horizon line I hope that makes sense and then we're gonna make it a, a little bit of a triangle on each end there's gonna be a flag on top but this one we're not gonna see but when I get to these other ones then the flag will be on top of it and then here's we're gonna add a stick and the flag is going to be moving along with the wind. Okay, so now that we got those in, let's continue drawing this turret. So that way we got it locked in and we should be fine here on out with this one. And now let's go with the walls. For now, we're going to make the battlements. What are those? Those are like um, those parts on the castle that make this kind of shape. I don't know if 
you'll be able to see that. But um, what I'm about to draw will be the battlement. So I'm going to pick a stopping point right here and then connect that with the other vanishing point because there are going to be some over here as well. And then we can take my smaller ruler and just draw small lines on it. And let's try to space them evenly as possible. And then the same thing over here. And since we're drawing in perspective, we're going to make this point, this point, this point, and this point go towards the vanishing point. Let's draw a line there, a line there, a line there, and a line. Then we can take our smaller ruler back again and just make more vertical lines. So let me bold this in real quick so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so those are what battlements look like. It's not going to be much on this side. Okay, and again, we're going to use this point and this point connected to our vanishing point over here. Okay, and now we're going to make the castle keep. What is that? So... You, we have the border on the castle, the battlements, and the tower that we all have. The little house that's inside of here, like right here, this little thing, that's called the keep. So that's what we're going to draw, and it's pretty basic, because the shape that we need for the keep is pretty much already drawn like we did it in the beginning. So all we got to do is just draw that in. And if you want to add battlements to that, then just repeat the same process that we did down here. And then we're going to transition back to the bottom, and we're going to add some... Uh, necessary castle accessories like say right here we're gonna add like a drawbridge and then just throw in some more vertical lines and then from here just connect this vanishing point to this point so we're gonna make sort of like a pathway coming from the door and then I just want to add a little something extra maybe like a bridge but it kind of won't make sense because this is supposed to be a drawbridge or let's just call that a wooden door because then there's nothing else on it that tells the viewer that it's a drawbridge and then, and if you do plan on adding a moat then you can draw a bridge just like this so like say uh, let's draw moats coming around the castle and we won't need our perspective points for this one. So just draw, go around the castle, make it look like a lake. That's what I'm doing here. And for the final piece, we can use this horizontal line as if the castle is like an island because that's what it kind of looks like. So everything disregarding the island can be like an ocean or like a big body of water. And then a bridge over here to kind of connect it with whatever other island. You can leave the castle pretty much like this. The process is just about done, but from here on out, you can just add any other details that you want to add. Like you can add a tower right here. Um, what I'm going to do in just a moment, I'm just going to add some windows. So um, for the windows, you are going to need your perspective lines. So just draw a line around the keep. And then the windows I like to add look like half of the McDonald's logo. And just use your perspective line to draw the bottom. And then I'm just going to add like a window here, window here, maybe one here, and then a partially seen one up here. So I just finished adding all the finishing touches that I want to add to the castle. So now I'm going to finish up the entire piece so you guys can see the entire thing with all its color.
So that's how you draw a castle, and specifically a castle drawn in two-point perspective. And if you want to come up with your own designs and draw your own castle, then you have a way to get started. So if you find the video useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.